My exam starts at nine. It's quarter to eight. I am so not ready. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's me Lily May, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm back with my week three of GCSEs. It's currently Monday, 3rd of June, it's quarter to eight, and I've got history fable one today. My history exam today is on crime and punishment. Honestly, I'm not prepared, but in about 15 minutes, I'm gonna head over to the exam warm up and see if we can learn at least a little bit of what I'm supposed to be doing today. I'm in my own clothes because it's like an inset day for everyone else, so we get to go home after our exam today, which is great. Exam finishes at quarter past 10, so when I get home, I'm probably just gonna sleep. But right now, before I leave, I'm probably gonna quickly get all my notes together. <laughs> get a drink and get some breakfast and I will see you guys when I'm finished the exam to tell you what I think of it as you guys can see I'm now home it's currently about 25 to 9 I finished my exam at 10 15 but then me Zara and Holly we went out we went to Starbucks McDonald's and then Zara's mum's work which is like a dessert place <laughs> yummy it was great and before we left I spoke to my friend Saffron for about 20 minutes it's been a pretty good day honestly the exam didn't go great at all I opened the paper and the first question was something like describe two features of the Whitechapel vigilance committee and I totally went blank I don't think I actually properly learned about that like I don't remember the names at all nobody in my class did either when I spoke to them about the how the exam went but obviously I should have used my common sense but I didn't because I didn't recognize any of the words I pretty much missed that question um, there was a few other questions I tried to answer I tried my best anyway there was a 16 marker at the end and I wrote about a paragraph that is not good by the way if you didn't know one paragraph or a 16 marker mm -mm -mm. I might get about two marks on that so I don't think the first history paper went as great as it could have or as good as I wanted it to overall I would really like a grade 5 in history don't think I got that today but you know you live and you learn I didn't really know much on the paper I tried my best I tried to answer as much as I could and that's all I could have done in about 20 minutes Love Island is starting hi, hi vlog. currently on FaceTime to George I guess how armpits. also I have something to tell you I'm feeling very girly at the moment because yesterday I went and got my nails done to a montage of my nails because they're lovely Are the nails I'm loving them I'm literally tapping everything ASMR everyone's gonna hate me after this everywhere I go I'm literally just making unnecessary annoying tapping noises very sorry about that guys I'm just obsessed tomorrow I've got English language paper one and a music paper which I'm not excited for I'm going to fail of course I've done so much revision but I'm gonna go get changed into my pajamas get comfy so that I'm ready for bed after Love Island and I guess I will see you guys in the morning good morning everybody welcome to day two of this video Tuesday at 4th of June it is currently 25 past 8 so I've got about five minutes till I need to leave you already know because I said yesterday but today I've got English language and music exams there was an English language warm-up because obviously that exams at nine o'clock today but I didn't go just because I feel like I never learn anything about English language when I go to them sort of lessons I learn like words and stuff obviously I've been revising English language in English lessons anyway so I think I'll be all right I hope I am I hope the paper's all right and then music I'm absolutely done for I'm terrible at music I don't know a thing I'll be doing a lot of revision for that before the exam as well because I need to get as much of the information in my brain as I possibly can I need 30 marks to pass and I know that doesn't sound like a lot but I've been getting about five marks so that's how music's going like i said i've only got a few minutes until i need to go so i will probably see you after school <sighs> this is gonna be so fun isn't it yay <laughs> Ha. So as you guys can see, I am now home after a distraughting day. Today actually went kind of quick because of the fact that I had two exams and like two lessons, so that is good. However, those exams didn't go the best. 
let's just put it that way. English language, it was actually going like okay, like I liked the text we got and everything that we had to analyse, all of that stuff, but I didn't finish section B, which is like the creative writing bit. I didn't finish it and I'm so, so annoyed. And the bits that I did write, I don't think they'd be enough to get me very good marks. I'm just hoping I pass because I need to pass this. Genuinely need to, to get into the college that I want to get into, I need English language because I'm not getting maths. And music, you guys already know about music. Not my strongest point, like my teacher's great. She's actually a really good teacher. She taught us a lot in the time that we had with her, but I just don't think we had enough time. That is how those two exams went. Tomorrow is Wednesday. I don't have any exams tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll film tomorrow yet. It's almost nine o'clock, so of course I've got to go and watch Love Island. Let me know who your favorite couple is so far. I th I personally think Lucy and Joe are really, really cute. I'm not gonna lie, so far I'm not really loving Anton's personality. A wandering eye is the worst thing somebody could have. And to me, he seems like a bit of a liar. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about Love Island on this. This is an exam vlog. Once again, I'm on FaceTime to the George. Oh, he's a little bit shy. He's on mute and I'm on mute because I don't want him to hear me because that's so embarrassing. Eh, hey, yucky. I haven't done any revision tonight, and not gonna lie. It won't be either because it's already nine o'clock. But I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, my homies. Lots of love. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Good morning everyone, it is now Thursday, I think it's the 6th of June. It's currently at 7 minutes past 8, I should kind of be in school right now for the maths exam warm up. But I'm running a little bit late as you can see, I need to eat as well because I'm hungry. Today I have two exams, I have maths paper 2 and history paper 2. Not looking forward to either like at all, I feel like today is going to be a bit of a drag if I'm honest. Also I'm finally on study leave but I basically don't start it until next week. Because I have two exams today and two exams tomorrow so I'm basically in school all day. But yeah that's pretty cool, really thought I wasn't going to get it. My school were being kind of annoying. On my history paper today I'm going to be doing the Elizabethan era and the Cold War. In my mocks I did terrible on the Cold War so I'm not looking forward to this one little bit you know you gotta do what you gotta do as Love Islanders say it is what it is but like I said I'm running a bit late so I better get going and I'll see you guys after We need to talk. So, about today, as you already know, I had Maths Paper 2 and History Paper 2. Right, so, Maths Paper 2 didn't go as terrible as I thought it would. I don't think it was that bad, but to be honest, looking on Twitter now, looking at what people were kind of saying the answers were, I got very wrong compared to them. But when I was actually in there taking the exam, I felt fine, I felt okay. However, history on the other hand went terrible. But I do not think I am alone in feeling that way about history because looking around that exam hall, nobody was writing, literally nobody. I'm kind of surprised to be honest, but the questions were really hard I feel like. We got two papers, Elizabeth and Cold War, and they were a struggle to say the least. My brain just didn't feel like it was working to its full potential in that exam. Two phones went off as well, which is really awkward. So overall, just not really a great exam. That's the first exam I felt like I've struggled with a lot. That's the first exam that I kind of 100% know I failed, apart from music and maths. I love being an academic student. Tomorrow is Friday, the last day of the week. I've got English language paper two and biology paper two. I haven't done much revision tonight, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I went to my dad's, I didn't get back until about seven, and then I seen my nieces until like nine, and then I watched Love Island, and I sound like such a bad student because I watched Love Island. But don't worry guys, I will do revision tomorrow and hopefully I'll be okay. 
to be fair, I think I do have quite a few Biology Paper 2 notes already written out from revision that I've done before. I have done revision for Biology Paper 2, just not as much as I wanted to. But I feel like I could get as much as I wanted to done tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be alright. I think I'll be alright. But that is basically my summary of the day. Um, I feel like this week's vlog has been really dead. Just because I haven't really been vlogging until kind of late. So then I don't really have much to vlog. Because I just want to go to sleep, to be honest. I'm pretty sure it's like half past ten now. So I need to take off my makeup and get to sleep. Went to New Look the other day. Let me show you what I got. If you've seen my birthday haul, you would have seen that my mum got me a camo denim skirt. However, unfortunately, it was in the wrong size. So we basically swapped that. I changed it for my size. I think this is so cute. I'm so excited to wear it. And I also got some grey, black and white cargo trousers. I think these are so cute. I love cargo trousers so much. So I'm very, very happy with what I got. But like I said, I need to start getting to bed. I'm so tired. Good morning guys, it is the last day of the week, it's Friday. It is currently 27 minutes past eight. I need to leave in about three minutes. The only thing is my hair is still a little bit wet underneath from my shower. I haven't dried it properly, but you know. I did a bit of makeup today and it's just not looking great at all. I just watched one of Mr. Bruff's like English language paper two videos. Not gonna lie, it didn't help much. Just told me everything I already knew, but oh well. It's the effort that counts. I'm a little bit nervous for biology paper two today, but hopefully it'll be all right. I'll be able to like revise during the warm up and everything. I guess I will see you guys after school as usual. As you guys can see, I'm now home. That probably gets so boring throughout all of these vlogs, but I'm here. I actually think today's exams went pretty well. I think they went decent. I think my English paper today went better than my first one, so that's good. Um, I think biology paper two wasn't as good as my first one, but I don't think I did terrible on it. Not the best exam I've ever sat, but it was most definitely not the worst, and it wasn't that bad either. Also, if you do AQA English and you did the paper today, you will know that question five was about like some famous thing and literally all of the memes on the GCSE pages are so relatable there was me thinking I was all smart talking about the Kardashians in the exam not -uh, everyone wrote about them I really need to start being more original every single meme I'm seeing the Kardashians have been mentioned this is literally so true I pretty much just wrote about the Kardashians and Daniel Brigoli it's so mad to think as well this time next week I'm gonna be finished school I'm gonna be finished all of my exams my last day of secondary school in seven days that is so weird I don't think I even look old enough to be in year seven let alone go into college I've just been told I'm going to climb a mountain so that's fun I also feel like I've done no revision in this vlog and I'm just gonna be straight up and real with you guys it's because I haven't done much revision at home I was kind of more reading over notes rather than actually writing down notes and revising them this week so that's is the tea that is what's going on but that is pretty much all i've got to say for this week's video i'll see you next week with my last week of school vlog that is so weird to say i don't think i'm ever gonna get over the fact that i'm not in secondary school anymore pretty much make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below if you're not already and i'll see you guys very very soon with a brand new video peace